something you don't see every day. You, you know, you see manatee, you see dolphins, you know, you see stingrays, but you don't see sharks like that. A rare and perhaps too close encounter with a large shark this weekend on Anna Maria Island. The apex predator forcing swimmers out of the water. 10 News reporter Jonathan Petromala spoke with one man who caught that shark on camera. How's the water? Well, it was just thin this weekend. Just happened to look to the north and see that big uh, dark image coming down with the dorsal fin sticking up. Todd Seiza snapping photos of the shark that shut down the beach on Anna Marie Island Saturday. The estimated six footer swimming just a few feet from shore in waiting deck. Ironically, there was a woman in the water about three minutes before they pulled her. She would have been standing right in the shark's way. Shark attacks have happened on and around Anna Maria Island. In 2011, this spear fisherman was bitten on his thigh. A few days later, another fisherman got a bite. But according to the Florida Museum of Natural History's International Shark Attack File, Unprovoked attacks are rare on the west coast of Florida. Since 1882, Pinellas has the most on this coast with 11, but Volusia County has 275. Shark researchers with Moat Marine say it was likely a sandbar shark, which is actually pretty common in these waters this time of year, and a species usually not likely to be aggressive to humans. Crazy. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> I was surprised. Still rare and exciting enough that this photographer will have quite a tail to tell uh, you know, over the holidays. Water. In Manatee County, Jonathan Petromala, 10 News, WTSP. Mm. <laughs> I'm just glad the guy is okay. Did you see the size of that thing? Oh. A few feet offshore. Now, there were a record 98 unprovoked shark attacks last year, but only six were deadly.